Captain Bill of the Nautical School of Maritime Licensing at nauticalschool.com. Now that you've learned how to convert time into total minutes and the total number of minutes back into a time value, it is time to introduce you to your final formula called 60D Street. You'll use this formula to easily calculate time underway or speed made good or distance. Before we begin, you must first remember two rules when using D Street. Rule one, side by side, you multiply. Rule two, remainder divide. The reason this is so important is that when using 60 D Street, there will always be two numbers in the formula that are side by side that you must first multiply, and then take that answer and divide it by the remaining number, which lies above or below the two numbers that you just multiplied that were side by side. To start with, you must enter the two values necessary for you to calculate the third. Since calculating time, speed, or distance all require a time value, time is entered in total minutes, which you learned how to do in my second video, Calculating Nautical Time. Speed is given in knots and distance in nautical miles. The number 60 next to the letter D ensures that the time is calculated in minutes, which must be converted back to hours and minutes when solving for a question pertaining to estimated time of arrival. Let me show you an example of using 60 D Street to figure out time underway if our distance is 19.7 nautical miles and we're traveling at a speed of 12 knots. Following rule 1, you first multiply the two numbers that are side by side, which in this case are 60 and 19.7. This gives you an answer of 1182. Immediately apply rule 2 and divide 1182 by 12 knots. Your answer of 98.5 indicates total number of minutes, which you would then round up to 99 minutes. Now take the 99 minutes and convert it back to a time value. 99 minutes equals 1 hour and 39 minutes. You learn how to do that in our second video, Calculating Nautical Time. Finally, using the 99 minutes calculated, let's suppose we want to determine our estimated time of arrival if we started our voyage at 1751. First, separate the 17 hours from the 51 minutes as shown. Understanding that 99 minutes is 1 hour and 39 minutes, add the minutes together and then the hours. Your answer so far is 18 hours and 90 minutes. Since the minutes exceeded an hour's time, reduce the minutes by 60 and add that hour back to your 18. Your ETA is 1930 hours. I'm Captain Bill of the Nautical School of Maritime Licensing at nauticalschool.com.